Hey there, Sharon Hornell from here. Welcome to today, 1,792 of What You Up To Now. Documenting the journey as I originally, not when I first started, because I had to get up the gumption to actually do videos and do a podcast and do any audios or show up at all, you know. You have to get over that not liking your own voice, then not liking your own face, and then getting over the fear of doing things. And it took me a while, so I think it took me about a year before I actually did any live video or showed up online. I did some trainings and some coaching, some behind the scenes video PowerPoint things. Remember PowerPoints? I don't know if we even do those anymore. Very rarely. Once in a while we just share our screen and often that's not a PowerPoint. That's just, I like to go through and demonstrate how to do certain things, especially when somebody asks. Sometimes the quickest thing to do is hop online, share a screen or do a Zoom call and actually walk them through the process versus trying to write out and describe how to do things. It's why I I do this video log because it's easier than me writing out things that I can't read without my shining magnifying glass or my uh, blowing things up on my big TV screen. So today, a couple pieces of content that I've created. Number one, for supersize your business, I'm sharing an idiom every day. I started doing it when I was moving the first time and it just it number one, it started to be fun because it was a way that I could learn and grow and understand what things mean, where they come from, and how I could apply them to my business. So I thought, well, if I'm enjoying it, maybe other people would enjoy it too. So I like to share an idiom every day. And today's was to be a dark horse. I was researching animal-related idioms because our question, one of the questions for the BU 365 Day Challenge, I'm asking two questions every day in December because December is such a busy month. For me, I was traveling most of the month. I just got home. And you can see by my crazy background that I still haven't changed, but next year it'll be different. I've got some time to think about it and maybe order a new background, but uh, I, I don't want to be like everybody else. I don't want a company name in the back, or I don't want a bunch of books in the back. Do I have thousands of books? Yes. Do I want to show them off because it makes me look smart? Mm, probably not. I do like people's books that I follow because I can see the kind of things that they read behind them, or I, I guess... We all assume they read the books, not necessarily, right? So uh, today our questions, What the first one was, do all deser animals deserve the same rights? Why or why not? And the second one was, why do we park on a driveway and drive on a parkway? Okay, silly questions. I didn't ask, I asked uh, chat GPT, the AI, the artificial intelligence, about animal rights and got my good, I got a good answer. I thought it was a good politically correct answer basically depends on what you believe whether different animals deserve different rights or all animals deserve rights or whether animals deserve rights at all it's totally up to the individual based on our beliefs and our experiences and yada 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 which is probably the same answer i would give because that's what i think that's what i believe i believe that you don't have to believe what i believe in order to to be fine right we all we all get to choose our own beliefs our own thoughts our own feelings whether we know it or not and our other question Oh, I, I, those were the two questions. And then our idiom that I selected today was to be a dark horse. What the heck's a dark horse? A dark horse, I don't know that I've ever used this expression outside of literally talking about horses and the colors of horses. But a dark horse is something that comes out of nowhere or is unexpected. It comes from, of course, horse racing, which uh, PETA and other organizations against cruelty to animals would be all up in arms about they because they think that any use of animals and especially eating animals, it's absolutely positively wrong. Now, not a vegetarian, first and foremost, we'll say that. And you know what? Again, it's up to you. Eat what you want, eat what you like. Choose for yourself based on your own experiences and morals and values and, and beliefs, right? So talked about that. What does it mean? Where does it come from? How might you use it in building and growing and supersizing your business? And I shared my personal belief is that there are millions of, of dark horses out there, people doing good in the world and making the world a better place. They're just not on social media bragging about it or talking about it or using it to build and grow their business. I, You can use positive publicity and all the good things and the donations and things you do to make the world a better place by sharing it on social media and publicizing it. But I don't think, I think it rings hollow if you're talking about it yourself. I think it's one thing if you get accolades and other people recognize you, but when you're talking about it yourself, it comes off as braggy and insincere. And then people start to wonder, well, did you do it because you wanted the publicity or did you do it because it makes you feel good and that's the right thing to do? 
I personally do stuff because it makes me feel good, not because I need to brag about it or tell everybody or tell the world. So uh, I like I like to be understated, just like my hair. <laughs> anyway, if I can help you in any way, hit me up and ask. Otherwise, get ready for Christmas. It's Christmas this coming up weekend. So tons to do when I was traveling so much the last month and a half. Uh, it put a big dent in my normal Christmas preparations. So I'm focusing on those things and end of the year, getting ready for next year, planning out and plotting out next year's challenge. One of my uh, longtime uh, co-first, the first annual challenge that I ever did with another group uh, was to show up daily, every day, live video in a particular group that uh, an acquaintance from ClickFunnels had started. And I don't even know how I found it because I didn't know him before this challenge, but like to a day before the challenge it it came through my facebook feed and i'm like hmm that might be a good way to get myself to do video so i hopped on that a, a person from that group there are only about six of us that actually finished that annual challenge and did a video every day that year uh out of you know 100 plus it started i think six of us actually finished it uh and that meant we had technical difficulties and challenges with the challenge throughout the year. I got kicked off Facebook, I think, for three or four weeks, and I normally record on Facebook. So I had to get real creative. I learned how to use StreamYard. I used YouTube video, and then I copied and pasted the link in the group so that I could continue to show up live every day. So that's it. If I can help you, hit me up. Otherwise, I'll be getting ready for Christmas, getting ready for next year, and I'll be with you tomorrow. Have an awesome day.